Hey everybody, this is Aaron Whitehead. Welcome to Learn to Play the Piano. This is lesson 16 in a series of short lessons. In this video, we'll focus on what to do with your right hand when playing a chord progression. The chord progression that we're going to focus on for this lesson is E minor, C, G, D. And as we learned in the last lesson, instead of using all root chords to play the progression, we'll be using inversions. So instead of playing the four chords like this and jumping all over the piano, we'll play the four chords using inversions for the C chord and the G chord. Now there are several different ways that we could play through these chords. Obviously the simplest way would just be to play block chords, maybe on the four beats of each measure, and work your way through the chords that way. But let's look at some other ways that we could play through these chords. One thing that we could do is play one note at a time from the bottom of the chord to the top and then going back. And because there's four beats in each measure, we usually want to use a four beat pattern. So if we were to do that, it would sound like this. E, G, E, G. Now let's continue that pattern through all four chords and we'll play each chord two times. It's going to sound like this. Now we switch to the C chord. Now to the G chord. And now to the D chord. And because this is a progression, we would go from there back to the E minor and continue that pattern throughout. And one thing we should discuss before we go any further is fingering. As you finger each one of these chords, you should use either 1, 3, 5, 1, 2, 5, or 1, 2, 4 as discussed in our last lesson. So another way to play through this progression would be to do the opposite of what we just did and start with the top note, middle note, bottom note, and go back to the middle. Or B, G, E, G. And doing this through the first two chords of the progression would sound like this. And you could carry it through the G and then the D chord as well. A third variation would be to go bottom, top, middle, top. Or E, B, G, B. And if you carried this through the whole progression, it would sound like this. And again, we'd go back to the E minor as we finish to carry on that progression. And the final variation that we're going to talk about would be to play the top two notes and then the bottom note. So it would be B and G together and then E, like this. So the whole progression done in that way would sound like this. And of course, you'd go back to the E minor again and carry on that pattern. We hope you enjoyed lesson number 16. And if you did, you might also enjoy our book, which is now available on Amazon or our website, thepianochordbook.com. And we also have an app available on iTunes and the Android market. And we hope you'll join us next time where we'll focus on how to play through the progression with your left hand. Thanks, God bless, and see you next time. <laughs>